It's so little. It's a little. It's just a little guy. <laughs> it's a little guy. This is Larry getting in a fly like nine for the first time. Woohoo! So everyone and welcome to the channel. The journey starts here for sun and fun and uh, I've gone through security, clearly can't use any cameras there uh, and basically I'm now on the other side. I, hang on a minute. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Those that have been watching the channel for a while will recognise this gentleman behind me. It's Mikey, so I'll leave a link up here or here, I can never remember which side it is, for, a, for his channel and it's the Everything Aviation podcast. That's the one, and Still the Flying well. Irishman. And yeah. the Flying Irishman, it's gone well. so, uh, well. so I'll leave links on here, but no, um, yeah, we're through security. Uh, I can't miss you today, can we? <laughs> I was worried you, didn't see, you wouldn't see me. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, no, uh, all through security, uh, bags all checked in, and uh, say so just going to go and grab a coffee now, aren't we? I think so. So... Uh, I'm going to leave a little bit of montage of us getting through to Florida. So I'm not sure how this is going to pan out, but hopefully you'll enjoy it. Stick to the video. I'm not sure how many videos I'm going to make, but it should be good fun, shouldn't it? Always. Yeah. It's a shame he has to stay here and work. And yeah, I, I, he's I get going to, to going to be a display pilot and I have to stay here and make sure he gets there. Don't, don't tell everyone. Don't tell everyone. <laughs> cool. Well, hopefully you've enjoyed the intro, if nothing else. And uh, I'll join you on the other side when we get to Tampa Bay, uh, etc. So join you on the other side. Orlando. I've managed to get hold of Ian Moss, who's the chap's picking me up. And there's a little bit of a backstory behind Ian. He's the owner of the first Flylight 9 to be here in America. It's also the aircraft I'll be using to fly at Southern Fun. So anyway, let's get out and let's get picked up and meet Ian as well. So I the, gen the gentleman next to me is Ian Moss. He's kindly come and picked me up in a gorgeous car. Yeah. Everything seems twice the size of what's in the UK. Um, and uh, I've just discovered that he hasn't actually, or isn't in a position to fly his nine yet. He owns it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> You're still learning, yeah. aren't you? It's the ultimate in risk mitigation is to build it and then have somebody else fly it. So uh, yeah, Tabor's been flying it. But, yeah. uh, and then, I'll, and then I'll show you how it should be flown. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. If the wind drop. <laughs> but how far from Orlando to Tampa is it? Where we going? It's going to take us uh, 49 minutes, apparently. Right. So yeah. we've got about an hour's journey to go. Um, but yeah, this is the other end of the journey. It was nine and a half hours to get here. We arrived pretty much on time. Customs was good. Immigration, we say bag baggage claim was the actual noise, but, but customs was good. Other than that, we're just going to enjoy it. And it's nice to be warm. First yeah. time that in five months I've been warm, or six months actually, I've been Shout warm. Shout out for British Airways yeah. for being on time. Yeah. So, uh, so the first person I meet to pick me up is a Brit. It's, there you go, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. But I will interview Ian later on, so uh, just, just stay tuned for that one. But yeah, more of the, uh, the sun and fun journey for the channel. There you go. Up here on the right is uh, Fantasy of Flight, Kermit Wheat's operation. Yeah. And you'll see the C-47 up here. So I'm not too jet lagged this morning. We're all crammed in a vehicle. <laughs> um, and we're, uh, we're off on our way to, um, to Tampa from where we were at, uh, where, where are we staying again? Davenport. Davenport. Yeah. I'm confused, I have no idea where I am at the minute. Um, so we're all crammed in a vehicle on our way there. And um, yeah, oh, and oh, if you can see that in the background. Oh, there it is. It's right up here on the right. Actually. Yeah, Kermit Weeks. Oh, yeah, C-47. It's a little rough. Hey. I think it needs a... Needs a, needs, needs a bit of TLC, <laughs> that does. So, considering, considering I was awake for nearly a whole day yesterday, I slept really well. Uh, and, and so, I don't know what time it is, it's about 7ish in the morning. And we're heading over for day one of Sun and Fun. Let's see what fun and games happen today. And uh, yeah, I'll keep them up with you. So, at the minute, we're on golf carts and I just pray I don't fall off the back of this golf cart or yeah, drop anything. One hand for yourself. One hand, one, one so hand I'm risking it for the vlog. Yeah. Risking it all for the vlog, but man, this thing is huge. Absolutely huge. The very fact that we've got to get a, uh, a golf cart to take us to where we are 
as uh, I think I'm just going to be gobsmacked at this. So people have been camping since the middle of March. Some of them. Middle of March. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. We don't do anything like this in the UK. I don't know why, but hey. Oh, I know why. We don't have the weather. I don't think this is going to do, the camera is going to do justice just how far we're going at the minute. Um, yeah, we've been driving for like 10 minutes. Yeah, so I'm not going to do huge vlogs, but I'm just going to do little snippets of what's going on just because there's so much. I still can't believe the have been camping here since mid-March for this. We will be going to see Vitorazzi later on. Go and talk to those bad boys. Some ultralight stuff, gyros, yeah, we'll definitely have to go and do a walk around. But that's probably the best way to see it all quickly is on the back of a golf cart <laughs> and not falling off. So here we are, you'll have seen some of the video footage of us trundling in. We've got the four display Harvards um, going around, practicing at the minute, so radial noises everywhere. I can't believe how many aircraft there are here at the moment. But we've got the blue collar um, Sky Ranger that's here, and also Ian Moss's nine, which we're just rigging in the background. And so the stall is starting to come together now as well. Um, and I'll jump to a little bit of a quick interview with Mr. Rick Davies of Florida Flight School. So here's over to Rick. So those that have followed me for a while will know I've actually followed this gentleman, Rick. What's up, let's guys? Get, let's get the sun. Let's get Florida Flight Sports oh, in the yeah. background. There we go. Yeah. How's so that? I've right. literally just whizzed past in a golf cart, and I saw him. I thought we've never met, but we've corresponded for how many years now? Many years. Yeah. <laughs> Quite a few years now. Haven't we? Five years. Five six yeah. years probably. And so the only thing I can do is at least return the favour and put Florida Flight Sports in the vlog. Heck yeah. So uh, awesome. Are you here all week? Yes, all week. Yeah. Good to meet you in person. Yeah. I am really short in person. <laughs> So again, it's a very, very small world here, and I say I'm just in awe of just how big this uh, event is. And behind me over here right now, that's actually the demo line for the ultralights. So that's where hopefully I'll be flying later on. I think we've got 40 knots on Thursday, so I don't think I'll be flying Thursday. But other than that, we're going to take every opportunity we can to, uh, to show flex wing flying over here in America. But I've just, I've just noticed there's a Mustang over there. Oh, I say I'm going to have to go and get some more footage of walking around the place. But other than that, I'm happy and I'm not wearing a coat or gloves again. Okay. So hopefully you can hear me over the, uh, the noise of aircraft flying around um, and the wind. It is a little bit windy here so we're not flying today on the demo slot. The, dem the demonstration slots start tomorrow and we thought I'd missed the pilot briefing. So on the screen now you'll see the back end of the briefing I missed um, and I've got to go at four o'clock today to get the next briefing. Um, but in short, I'll get that briefing as a follow-on uh, daily briefing at 8 o'clock in the morning that will then allow me to fly on the demo slots. But as you can see, and hopefully I'll be doing a bit more of a walk around uh, to show you what's going on, but just so many stalls, so many different types of aircraft here. We've had Mustangs flying, Harvard 4 ships. Yeah, I'm just uh, yeah, a kid in a candy shop at the moment. So, uh, And there's a Mustang just taking off now as I'm chatting to you on the camera. More's going on now. We're going to go and grab some food because I haven't eaten in the last five five hours so uh, more food for me and uh, I'll keep you abreast of what's going on so enjoy sun and fun. What was it? Sit in and swing your leg over is it? Yeah yeah swing your leg over. Yeah. The rudder pedals when you rig them can be... Yeah. Rob I can't wait to see your machine mate. <laughs> be sure to tell Rob this is Rick Bennett I talked to you. I see you here. Hi. So I've got the Sun of Fun hat, but I'm going to take it off for this. Um, for those that know me, though, I've got an absolute passion for the P51 Mustang and the Hurricane. You can keep your Spitfires, uh, but these are a nice small version of a Mustang. Uh, however, I don't think I'm going to get away, get away with buying one, uh, but they do look absolutely amazing. So yeah, another little stand here, and hopefully you'll be seeing now 
an interview with Lewis Dix from Lewis Dix Aviation. And uh, it was an absolute pleasure to, uh, to meet and chat with you today, Lewis. So thanks very much for your time. Right, so another element of uh, sun and fun. Those that have seen this channel before, Nobody's heard of your channel. No, it's, yeah, it's right. not many people. All, all three of you. <laughs> So I luckily managed to inst Instagram uh, Lewis, uh, was it about a week ago, wasn't it? About a week ago. Yeah, and you actually responded no, to no, it. Oh, look at that, which is actually very out of character for me because I get a, quite a few messesses. Yeah. And uh, a lot of them I get a, a, I miss. Yeah. Obviously, so. your face just oh, really, dear. really resonated with it. So. Oh, dear. So I think the Brits have just slowly taken over Florida now, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, exactly. We're slowly, yeah, yeah, would, yeah. Know, we're recolonizing. Recolonizing. That's, that, that's what it's about. Taking it back. Taking, Taking it, it back. back. So, but we had to get flying eyes in the background. Yes. Yeah. So and, and do you own a pair of flying eyes? I, I do, yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I've been flying with flying eyes for quite some time. Very, very yeah. good sunglasses. Yeah. So, yeah. so uh, Lewis actually gave me a few pointers on, on how to try and improve my channel. Whether it'll work or not, I've no <laughs> idea. But for me, I'm just being able to... I'm still trying to take those pointers for myself as well. So, uh, <laughs> See who gets there but I think I like the, the main bit about it is the fact that most of your flights involved with laughter. Yes, absolutely. I think yeah. you've got to, you know, we, we pay a lot of money to do what we do mm. and you've got to have fun doing it. You uh, learn more when you laugh. Yeah, exactly. You yeah. know, you, you retain more information as, like, as a flight instructor. Well, sorry, going back as a student, I was sometimes made to feel with certain flight instructors like, you know, they didn't want to be there and it really impeded, you know, and stopped me from, from learning a lot. Yeah. So as a flight instructor now, I want to make training as fun as humanly possible for, for the students, and it, it works. You know, it, it really I, I run a no apology aeroplane. You're not allowed to apologise. <laughs> there you go. Exactly. Exactly. There you that. Go. Yeah. Even if you do break a strut. <laughs> and for those, I am actually this short, or he is just exceedingly tall. <laughs> yeah. How tall are you? Uh, I'm six foot two. Well, that makes me feel a lot better. <laughs> yeah. so, uh, but uh, <laughs> but anyway, Lewis, yeah. thank you so much for taking time. Absolutely. All right, and then we'll catch you later. Definitely. Bye bye. Appreciate it. Mate. Hold, hold that thought, hold that thought. Right. So I'll take my hat off, take my hat off. So another little insert into the video. I hope you enjoyed the video thus far. We've got Kevin and Rob behind us who are doing all the aircraft checks because I'm hopefully going to be flying this aircraft in the manufacturer demo line. The nine here, those that are following the channel know I love my nine. Um, Kevin and Rob, uh, is there actually anything to check on this aircraft? For us, being a, a legal 103.3 ultralight, we don't have to look at anything on this aircraft. Yeah. So you are the easiest inspection we've done today. Thank you. <laughs> However, we've been here half an hour talking about the aeroplane. Yes, and if we don't get to work, we'll be here another two hours. <laughs> yeah, there we go. But, uh, oh dear. We're being interrupted by the Harvards displaying overhead. So, uh, do they need to be inspected as well? Yes. Yeah. He, he does a lot of work. Yeah, he'll be doing those as well. Yeah. So, uh, so what's your background? You you touched on the fact you do commercial um, mechanic for Southwest Airlines. Yeah. yeah. So uh, Southwest, give them a pay rise. <laughs> and, and I, I'm a private pilot. Been flying since the '80s. Various aircraft, just about everything except a weight shift. Weight shift. And uh, just real pilot. men fly flex, apparently. Well, I need to work on it. And, uh, so uh, yeah, just just out volunteering, having some fun. Yeah. 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 So uh, this is the bit that people don't see that goes that goes on in the background of these air shows. Yeah. They just see aircraft taken off, flying around. And um, it's the key work that you guys do, I'm assuming, that keeps yeah. us all safe. Yeah, and what oh, we're yes. doing here is we're, we're, we're taking the place of having the FAA come out here and have to interact with all the, the pilots. They don't really have the manpower, plus they probably wouldn't be ideal. So they put that responsibility on us. We collect the data, turn it in, then they review it. Right. So we're, we're sort of uh, self policing ourselves and then final approval by the FAA, which yeah. which makes it, a, I think, a friendlier atmosphere. Not that there's anything wrong with the FAA. Yeah. Well, you, you have to say that, really, don't you? I, that's my disclaimer. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm easy to say that because my brother-in-law works for the FAA, so... <laughs> <laughs> you know all the secrets. <laughs> oh. Quite a few. What a time to try and do an interview when we've got loads of noise going overhead. But Kevin, Rob, thank you so much. No and I'll leave you to get onto the, uh, the other aircraft. Right. Thank Thanks you, for your time. Take care. Happy, and you. Happy, Happy flying. Nice. Cheers. So, so Larry's come to see a real trike now, and I'm not sure where I'm going to put this in the video. So if you haven't seen our interview, go and look at the previous video. So Larry's come over to see the nine. And what was your first comment about the hang block? 
I said it's like a real hang block, only smaller. <laughs> <laughs> so this is your first look at a uh, a nine, isn't it? It is, it is, and as I was telling you at our booth, that uh, this is the first thing I've been excited about in the trike world in a decade. Nobody's really come up with anything as a new idea. Um, this is a new idea, and I've thought of this idea. I mean, if you had a light enough trike with itty bitty tiny wing, how cool would that be? And uh, obviously you've had the ben, carriage. Ben and, ben and Eros have done it. For sure, yeah. for sure. I mean, just looking at this wing, it doesn't even look like you should fly, let alone have a 26 mile per hour stall speed, but yeah. it's all about wing loading, isn't it? Yeah. Yep, and Very Eros nice. just does such a beautiful job with their wings, and uh, I've uh, flown uh, quite a few. In fact, I had a little bit of input on the uh, Profi TL airfoil yeah. uh, when it first came out, and uh, Sergey uh, Dobershoff, I guess he went with it. They tested it. They said, yeah, that works, and we liked it. so. Um, I know Eros well. We've uh, bought a lot of wings from them back in the day before uh, Evolution started when we were with Apollo. We yeah. used the Eros wing. So yeah. there's history there. Yeah. So, you know, and these cables, they're so little. Everything is scaled down. So amazing. I say scaled down. You say, well, this is normal. Mine is normal. beefed up yeah. to a ridiculous amount. Uh, th these are real wheels. They are. Okay. I. Can I pop it if I squeeze too hard? <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to so step cute. away from you for a moment, Larry. Squeeze Amy, this. what's your first impression of the nine? Oh, this is really, really cool. I was just checking out the wing. I was asking about the speeds and stuff. <laughs> it's amazing that you can go that fast with this little guy with such a light trike. It's got to be yeah, one hell of a ride. 1,100 feet per minute climb rate. Oh, my God. That's insane. That's just awesome. Yeah. Now, this is really, really and, cool. And I know it sounds really corny, but it just looks fast sat on the ground it does it looks like it's so much fun to fly it's so little so little it's just a little guy <laughs> it's a little guy you're gonna have to use that for the opener <laughs> you've got no, hook written really all over cool. it you're on the you're on the intro for this one. Oh yeah. god yeah <laughs> this is a little guy it's a little guy and then it's Larry. just a little it's one like a real thing, yeah. but smaller <laughs> no it's really cool seriously i mean i can't even imagine how it feels to fly it is the controls like ridiculously it's... light it is light, yeah. light in pitch. It's reasonable in roll. You um, must get off the ground in like ten feet. No, it's got a. It, it wants to stick to the ground. Really? Yeah. Uh, um, compared wow. to what you're used to flying. Yeah. We rotate at seventy in the Revo that you just sat well, in. Well, yeah. Right. Okay. So. Yeah. But the rev. I mean, the rev got off really fast. Rev's a hundred foot ground roll, and this is about the same you were saying. Yeah. Yep. Well, if I get the briefing done out today, you'll. Uh, I get to fly it tonight. Nice. And hopefully you'll be able to see. And I'm not, not going to awesome. So can we have a seat? You can have a seat. This is Larry getting in a fly like nine for the first time. Woohoo! All right, let's take a look here. Well, that's just too easy. Wow. Holy cow, is this low to the ground. <laughs> and you know what I... The that's, first your hand, thing, that's your hands off trim position. First thing I really, really like about this is the control bar is not up here. This is so nice so nice and uh, now I didn't think this windshield was very big but I can see I'm clearly behind the windshield uh, so plenty of windscreen here I, this need a, is, I need a picture of this Larry absolutely I mean <laughs> this is cool I was so excited I knew this was coming to the show and I wanted to see it and it did not disappoint in any capacity this is really cool so different and again just different to me I've never seen the carriage but I am all about this nine meter wing. This, you look uh, up and there's just nothing there, is there? Yeah. It actually uh, looks to have about the same wingspan as our Competition 11. So that's a 27 foot wingspan. I assume this is almost longer. Is it a little over 27? Is it over nine the, meters? Yeah, I don't. It's 28. Yeah. yeah, this looks like it's got a little bit more wingspan than So the aspect ratio. But really higher high. aspect ratio, yeah. yeah. And of course, you're gonna get more efficiency shorter wing you'll get maybe a little more handling but when you're this light you're not looking for more handling this has got to be the lotus of trikes yeah. the lotus uh elise or trikes or something like that but so uh, can you soar it um you i know you can saw the pb with the adam wing that does soar um you do get lift but the the difference with this wing in the i mean i've flown it namely in winter time in either rough air or smooth air is that it cuts through turbulence. Absolutely. 
and you I float it in really strong crosswind days finding the comfortable limits for me and what like, are your comfortable personally with this combination what, what's um, comfortable? 10 12 90 degree cross no problem no problem at all wow you just bring it a bit faster so what is what is the typical approach speed with something like this um, you're gonna laugh about there all right and that gives us in miles <laughs> per hour no idea no idea. No I'm idea. the same way. Yeah. I, I get I questions all the time. I mean, we had this discussion in a video I did recently about do you need an airspeed indicator? Forget it. Yeah. Hands, hands off trim is about there. So and this then, is neutral. This is energized. And that is ballistic. <laughs> <laughs> Show me that again. We have neutral, we have energized, and he and says we have ballistic. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, you really know when you, you pull the bar in. Yeah. And, and the bar pressure is so light that you can just pull it in like that. Oh yeah. And you're not sitting there going like a quantum or a Q2 wing where you're sitting there like that trying to get your shoulders going. that static bar yeah. pressure. Yeah, whereas you just literally, you can hold it there like that with, with three or four fingers on each side. And, and then it really takes away the need for trim because like on our bigger machines, Sorry, <laughs> on our bigger machines, we have to have uh, speed trim because yeah. of what you're saying. It's. Yeah. Uh, um, because of that, those bar pressures. Yeah. So you want to use yeah. trim, and, and then all the way to the front. And then when you when you're landing, you, you'll be touched down by about there. Yeah. But you've still got full roll control. Yeah. Full roll control. And it's like, how is it? How? I don't know how they've done it. Which is why when I've come back in, and I can't remember who flew it recently, uh, and their their first first word when they landed was wow. Yeah. Uh, I'm I'm going to do something controversial here. Okay. I want Amy to sit in it. <laughs> So a quick battery change because the batteries were going to run out. But anyway, back to Amy. First thing, so you've flown all the big stuff. Yes. And now you're going to get I did fly in. an ATF. We were yeah. just talking about that. Yeah. But. So uh, I want to see what your first exposure is to this. All right. So just step on over. Yep, one leg over. Oh, wow. Whoops. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I do like the Barbie solo. Oh, my <laughs> And it's comfy. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you could take like a nap in here. <laughs> it's really comfortable. Yeah. Wow. So the bar, like the bar, bar position is, really is nice. kind of about, hands off trim is about there. Oh, that's awesome. So you literally just rest your wrists on it. Oh yeah. That's really nice. Wow. Not used to the wing being so high up there. I'm just kidding. No, and the itty bitty really hang cool. box. <laughs> No, this is nice and I actually fit it and everything. Yeah. I like the throttle, the braking. That's nice. There Do is actually adjustment plates no that bring throttle? it back in. Hand throttles on the side, under your elbow. Oh, I got it. Ah, that's why you were saying that. Uh, the I throttle being opposite. Through. The British hand throttle. Of course, my first the thought. British we, we, we're having a joke <laughs> about the, the driving on the left and right and apparently driving on the right is right. But um, <laughs> but the hand it, throttle is also on the other side. And, uh, and Amy's just found the hand throttle under her elbow. No, this is really nice. And I like you can see the instrumentation and everything. Yeah, so this is the it's new really binnacle cool. that Ben's designed. Nice. I like it because you can reach everything and do what you need to do. Yeah. That's very cool. I'm like you got the radio here. Yeah. This is really nice. This would be fun to fly. Oh, it is. It, is. it feels I'm, I'm so, I can't can believe. I really can't yeah, believe how light the, the wing even like feels now. Off. Well, it'll give me a chance to fly it before I have to demo it, which will be nice. So realistically, then, as your uh, your first experience with uh, with the nine, just getting you both in shot, um, what do you think of the nine? It's a go kart. I think uh, what we're used to is more of a car, and yeah. this is more of a go kart to me. Um, <laughs> which go karts can be a lot of fun. Yeah, uh, it's little, uh, but I know just based on the size of the wing that uh, I have a pretty good feeling. I, uh, this is an amazing flying little trike here. Amy? I definitely think this would be a lot of fun to fly. It feels like it. I like how it's made. It feels, it doesn't feel flimsy, no. which I was kind of thinking when I first looked at it, it's really cute and little, but uh, I was a little afraid of like how once you sat in it, if it was really going to have like a, you know, good feel to it. And it feels like it's well made. I and just I like the positioning of everything. And I'm really looking forward to seeing you flying it. And I, I think I watch all your videos and I don't know if you pointed this out but as a designer a trike designer there's two things I wanted to point out that I noticed on this trike that are unique and there is some attention to detail uh, that's impressing the heck out of me right now and one is that this uh, throttle cable goes inside of the frame so cleanly 
So that impresses me. But the other thing that impresses me is the way that the frame, instead of trying to, normally this is much longer and you have leverage and you have a weak point with this gusseted section. You waited with a nice straight tube until the last second, put the rake into the fork system, mounted it with the four bolts. I've never seen anybody do it like that. That's a very strong. We well, have to send, thank Ben Ashman because he did that. I think that, uh, you know, that, that king pin bolt tends to get loose when you go through certain materials. So I don't know if the wall thickness is probably thicker, I'm guessing here, but if it's not, it's replaceable. And yeah, I really it's a, it's like- It's a solid block. It's solid. It's solid. So that is somebody that's been flying trikes a long time, knows, and that's what I thought it might ben be, or at least. The, yeah. It's somebody that knows where you're gonna have slop, that's gonna make a trike feel old, and this is a way to keep things tight. So I've, I've those done some hammering details. on my PB. On, it's only rough strips it flies off. Wow. And in five years now, 100, nearly 150 hours, no issues whatsoever. Wow. No, that makes sense. And nice. nobody else that I know of has done that. Yeah. Good so. job, Ben. I, I like it. <laughs> I'm sure if I look around a little bit more, there may be some other things that really impressed me. But uh, well, well, I think we're going to quit while we're ahead there. So. Um, <laughs> I'm glad you've come over and spent some time with us on the on the blue collar aviation stall. Hopefully, we 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 have to go for our pilots briefing, so I'll hopefully cut edit this here, and you'll join us in the pilots briefing later on. Is, is it someone you know that's doing the briefing tonight? My father, Papa <laughs> Phil, <laughs> Papa Phil. So uh, he's. And we love harassing him. It's awesome. <laughs> Apparently Larry said we've got a heckling from the back row. So, um, so yeah, we're going to go for our pilot's briefing and that hopefully will allow us either to fly tonight or tomorrow in the demo slot. So, uh, but no, thanks for coming over here. Thanks for having us. Thank My you pleasure. so much. This is so nice. No one was allowed on the flight line side of the orange barrier fence unless they're with an aircraft being escorted by a manufacturer's representative and going to an aircraft or being esco uh, escorted by an air ops volunteer. So if you have somebody who's a... Oh, red faced, red faced. All right, everyone, so end of day one outro. We're just closing down the uh, the area, and uh, wow. Had the pilot's briefing, as you probably saw, and say so just uh, making sure I don't screw up tomorrow. We've got another briefing at eight o'clock, so this pretty much wraps up day one. Stay tuned for day two, and we'll see what fun and games that brings, but hopefully that will have given you more of an understanding of what's going on, and hopefully you'll have seen, well, wait, stand by for Larry Mednick's video. Um, of all the Revo products, Evolution trikes, etc. And that's, uh, that is one to watch. So this is pretty much wrapping up day one. I hope you've enjoyed this video. More to come. I have no idea what's going to happen tomorrow, but we'll go with the flow and see what happens. A little bit red-faced, hopefully going back and put some more sunscreen on later on um, and find my hat somewhere. But other than that, I've had a fantastic day at, here at, uh, at Sun and Fun in Tampa. And yeah, how do I really wrap up this without knowing what could happen tomorrow so stay tuned for the next video see you in the next one until next time everybody fly safe